Hi, Chris Salerno here with The Curious Dentist, and today I'm going to be discussing my technique for a closed tray impression of a dental implant. I'll be showcasing the NEOS implant system, and here you can see I have my retentive element and pin, and there's a red cap that's going to be snapped on top, and that gets picked up with the impression. So here first you see me taking that retentive element and pin together as a unit and twirling that around until I feel that that is seated. And then once that is tightened down, I can take my red cap and place that around. Now it's only going to fit one way. This particular cap which gets picked up has two retentive wings. If you find that those wings interfere with the adjacent teeth, just simply unscrew the impression coping and twirl it around a bit until it seats in another position and you'll be good to go. I've tried my train and now I am injecting my impression material around the implant and at the same time I'm filling up the full arch tray. There's no need to modify this tray at all, just a regular stock tray will be inserted and I make sure that is fully seated and I wait the full amount of time, usually about five minutes or so, for that to set. Once I remove that, the, again, the red cap will be retained within the impression material. Then I just have to unscrew my impression coping, and that then can be inserted in the red cap. This is the closed tray method. It's much faster than the open tray method, and it is quite accurate. So thank you for joining me. This is, again, Chris Salerno with The Curious Dentist. And I would also like to, of course, thank my good friends at the Murata Dental Studio for the use of their recording equipment.